Hello and welcome back to Chairman Mill. It's a rare sunny day in England and whenever it's sunny and nice in England you should take advantage of that because days like this are, are so rare. That's why I've taken out my camera and went to do some shopping and you know just decided to record some footage for you guys and you know I have a little chat with you so in my last video I was complaining I was talking about an incident that happened to me you can go and uh, watch my previous video and um, in the comments um, I realized something um, perspective is very important that means um, people have different uh, conclusions to events that happen depending on um, the position they are viewing it from um, I'm not going to use words like privilege and all of that I'm just going to use perspective as a euphemism for privilege or disadvantage so with regards to the last video I made um, you can go and watch it to get the context because it will heavily influence what I'll be saying in this one so um, one thing I am and that I noticed that I am when I got here I've always been a black person but coming to a country that is uh, full of white people and I moved to a small town that is predominantly white people I go nuts when I see uh, another black person you know we greet each other even if we don't know each other we instantly form a bond because we share the same perspective so um, as I stay here um, to someone I'm a visitor to someone I'm a, a migrant to someone I'm intruding in their land those are different perspectives to me I came here for better opportunities I came here to make some money I came here to enjoy some level of freedom that I must admit I did not um, enjoy in my own country at the same time um, being in the civilized Western world, I expect to be treated a certain way uh, with respect and dignity as a human being and um, also I feel some sort of entitlement. Um, this is now the issue of perspective I'm talking about. I feel entitled because like to some it may seem like um, it was a huge favor for the authorities to let me live here, to let me work here because many people are suffering in Africa I should be grateful that I'm here yes maybe but at the same time I feel like um, I deserve to be here and I can be here if I want to be it shouldn't be such a big fuss because um, Europe um, there's no nice way to put it ripped off, ripped off Africa for quite a while for centuries they ripped us off they took our wealth our gold even granite stones they would take granite stones and bring them over here to build grand buildings they'll take them from Africa so African wealth is awash in these shores so as an African I shouldn't uh, feel uh, like um, I'm indebted to anyone just for the privilege of being here I shouldn't feel like I have to take some bullshit because I'm a visitor no I believe my grandfather Cecil John Rhodes I call him grandfather you know maybe it's my attempt to be funny but Cecil John Rhodes came to Africa back in the day and formed the British South Africa company he came to seek his fortune um, he did certain atrocities in Africa he did a lot of things but he made his wealth in Africa and some of it is still being enjoyed right now yeah, a lot of his wealth uh, some of it is doing good he has the world scholarship and all of that but most of it is still benefiting not the Africans but the Europeans so if he could do that and enslave us I can at least come here and feel comfortable doing a minimum wage job without fearing 
for discrimin for discrimination without fear of being considered as I'm not uh, a full human being, without the need for me to always be compelled to act and feel like I'm grateful for just moving to another part of the earth. So it's an issue of perspective. Um, this is a very uh, big and difficult topic that I've compressed into a couple of seconds, but the issue of perspective is really is really important. How you look at things. So you might look at something as, wow, this guy must be grateful he is here. And I may look at it like I'm working, I'm paying taxes. I deserve to be here just as the next person. I'm a productive member of society. And it's really painful that as a black person, I have to go above and beyond to be a good citizen, to prove to people that, um, I don't know if it is just to prove that I'm a human like them or to prove that I'm a productive, non-threatening member of society. So I just wanted to show you this beautiful footage of this town where I live in and just get a few thoughts out of my mind. Like, share, subscribe, we'll make more videos. My next video will be entitled um, The Five Types of White People That I Met in England. So as I came here, I met uh, many, many people with different attitudes. Some are sympathetic, some are understanding, some are condescending. And so I'm going to mash it into a video where I'll try to be objective, where I'll try to, you know, speak on all the kinds of people I've met and my experience here so far. This has been Chairman Mill. Peace, happiness and love. Catch you in the next video.